everyone. Today I'm at Balter Motorcycles test riding this amazing Triumph Scrambler 1200 XE. I mean, just look at it. It just looks gorgeous. If you're into the Scrambler look, this is definitely one you got to check out. What do we have here? We've got keyless start as well. So why don't we start with a quick sound check? Woo. Wow, I mean, this sounds really good. Now, let's have a look at comfort-wise. If I throw my leg over it, okay, obviously, because it's a scrambler, you're gonna have a taller seating position that you would normally have. The very first thing I notice is that the handlebar position is tall enough for you to have lots of control, lots and lots of control. Seat is actually so well padded and comfy obviously now we're gonna get on on the road and uh, see how that feels after a test drive foot controls are in uh, mid position i'd say overall i'm really impressed i mean it might not feel agile let's not forget this is a bonneville isn't it well let's see how she handles on the road With incredible all-road capabilities, the Triumph Scrambler 1200 XC is built to exceed expectations in terms of build quality, handling and performance. The revised Euro 5 engine has its own dedicated Scrambler tune for a smooth, torque-rich delivery of the classic Bonneville twin. Triumph claims 89 horsepower at 7,250 RPM and 110 Nm of torque at 4,500. Now, enjoy a few shots of pure sound on the Scrambler 1200 XE. Look, we all know that retro is back, and so are modern classic motorcycles. But there aren't really many retro scramblers out there right now that offer this kind of performance both on and off-road. The Scrambler 1200XE is the all specced out version of the 1200 Bonneville range. Class-leading technology, dedicated scrambler frame, long travel suspension, and at its heart, the high-power Bonneville engine. With smooth and predictable linear power delivery, six riding modes, you can fine-tune it to suit your riding experience. There's also cruise control, cornering ABS, traction control, and with the latest Triumph connectivity module, you can also control your GoPro and have turn-by-turn -turn navigation. What a treat! The seat height on the XE is 870mm and the bike weighs 230kg wet, so it's definitely not the easiest to handle at slow speed. Also, the 21-inch front wheel doesn't help it. But once you get over that and you get your balance right, it's such a joy to ride. I mean, there's very little vibrations through the bars and pegs, and it's so smooth thanks to the featherly light clutch and gearbox. 
The smoothness continues as you glide over bumps. The premium suspension is faultless. And on this particular bike, set very soft for a lazy and laid back ride. I'm definitely not that kind of rider, so I would tighten all up straight away. The XC lets you do just that with ease, thanks to the 47mm fully adjustable Showa forks that offer 250mm travel at the front. While at the back, there is a set of fully adjustable Olin's twin shocks with 250mm travel. So this is serious stuff for off-road riders. If you're into that, you're gonna love what Triumph has done here. Brakes wise, the XE is equipped with a set of twin 320mm discs with Brembo M50 calipers and they are simply fantastic. I mean that's super bike quality braking and they feel proper good pulling on the lever. Now because the XE version of the Scrambler sits higher and has more suspension travel than the XE, it means it'll steer a little slower, so definitely watch out for those tight bends. Off-road is really where the XC wants to be ridden. You just can't fault Triumph for this superb Scrambler 1200 lineup. I love how comfortable this bike is, the smooth power delivery, the technology package it offers, and overall the feel of a proper quality machine. So well done Triumph on your 1200 Scramblers. Now here's my final thoughts. I mean there's so much you can do with the Triumph Scrambler 1200. But you really gotta be careful about the diving. That's the one thing I'm not sure of, how much the bike actually dives. And the tall front wheel that I think, if you're not used to it, you're in for some fun. <laughs> but other than that, guys, I mean, it feels lightweight, handles really good, even though it's got a tall front wheel. But I mean, look-wise, guys, this is the bike for you if you love that vintage look, the Bonneville engine, just everything about it, just, reminds me of a different era completely i mean if i had the budget i would look no further than the triumph scrambler 1200 this is a phenomenal bike i mean it really is a phenomenal bike i enjoyed it if you did as well let me know in the comments below hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next one but that's pretty much it for me guys in this one i'll catch you in the next one